Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome in to my channel. My name's Mia. And if you're new here, today's speed build will be doing the exterior for Whitney. I also want to say thank you so much for all of the support and helping me reach my goal of a thousand subs before the new years. But I honestly don't know how I feel about doing some of my exteriors. So this is going to be the first exterior I'm sharing. I kind of feel like I struggle with that area, but I don't want to be too hard on myself. So if you do enjoy videos like this, please also remember to like this video, hit that subscription button and turn on those notifications as I put out new videos weekly. But as I said, I'm really hard on myself with the exteriors because I feel like they're the hardest for me to decorate, but I really love the color palette for this one. And it's one that I want to share and also how to place paths like this. So I always organize my paths when they involve a bunch of pieces or diagonals, as you can see there. And you can do this by pressing the Y button and then you'll see the option to swap the paths around. So I always have to organize mine because when I first downloaded this one, I could not comprehend how it worked. So I kind of start to pay attention to what the, the ah, what direction the diagonals are going in. So if I see the corner start to go to the left, then I place that path tile on the far left of my designer app. So we're gonna start creating the sidewalk here and the overall shape of what I want this to look like. But a little warning, I will be going relatively slow while I place the path just because this is one that I have to kind of think about as well. So I'll be back in a moment to discuss some more of this process. Now, another thing you'll see that I'm doing is as I'm working on the left corner, I try to think about all of the areas where I can use this uh, specific design. That way I don't have to keep going back and forth either with switching out the codes. But again, I do make mistakes as well and I have to go back and fix it. But just to get the general idea is that I do kind of try to stick with one of the designs and use it as much as I can so that way I don't have to be clicking back and forth all of the time and swapping out those patterns. So you're going to notice on the left side that the shading of the code maybe doesn't match the way I laid this path. Part of the reason is I either didn't download all portions of the code or the code wasn't created that way. I personally can't remember, but if you like this code, again, everything is found in the description of this video. And since Whitney is a beautiful, 
beautiful. She is beautiful, but since she's a beauty influencer, I thought it would be super cute to just have this delivery truck and she's just getting a bunch of packages delivered to her daily. So a bunch of cardboard boxes, which is one of my favorite items as well. Look how happy she is clapping, making her dreams come true. She is just the cutest and she also wanted to say that she woofs you all, but I will be back as her home starts to come together. This now concludes today's speed build and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed building. So until next time my friends, have a great day or night wherever you are. Goodbye.